Okay. Crazy Will here. Today, today we're going to be talking about how to level your Ender 3 bed. If you have a 3D printer and it's an Ender 3, I'm going to show you how to level the bed. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ender 3. We're gonna level the bed, guys. Chances are, if you're having any problems or you just got a new Ender 3 3D printer, you need to level the bed. It's a very, very, very common practice to get perfect 3D prints. Now, when I got started, I found a couple of videos on it. I found a couple of tutorials on it, and I didn't feel like they described it well enough, so I thought I'd put my own spin on it the way I like to do it. First things first, guys, we're gonna go over to the computer, and we're gonna get a file from Thingiverse. So let's go do that right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Thingiverse right here. I'm gonna give you the link down below, but it is created by this gentleman right here, and it is a bed leveling test. This is what I've been using since day one. You're gonna click on that and download it. I already downloaded it. Go over to my download file, and you'll get this zip file. You unzip it, which we're gonna delete that. You're gonna click in there, and you're gonna go to files. Now, what we want is just the Ender 3 bed leveling. That's it, that's the one I use. So you click that one and drag it into your SD card. So this is the file that you want right here. The rest of these are other files. They have extra stuff in them. I haven't really played with them. I think one of them is just whatever this is back here, this, this actual outline of the shape for calibration. So we'll minimize this, we'll bring this over. There is my SD card and I'm gonna click and drag this over right there. Boom, and now we'll eject that. All right, so anytime you move the printer or you see prints not coming out, that's the file that I like to use to see how level my bed is. I actually have the SD card here. I'm gonna stick it in this machine right here. But before you do that, I'm gonna pretend that you guys got this brand new because when I was brand new, no one told me this. The first thing we want to do is set it home. We're gonna go into the main menu. We're gonna scroll down to prepare. And then we're gonna scroll down to Auto Home. Now what this is doing, guys, it's actually bringing everything home. Now, once it's done, what you wanna do is turn off the printer. All right, so we turned off the printer from that point on. And the reason why I say this is instead of me going through the menu and showing you how to disable motors, if the bed is too high or too low, and in my case, I have a glass bed, so you do have to compensate for that. So you may have to move, there's a little switch back here, and you may have to get two Allen keys and move it up or down, depending, in my case, it's a glass bed, so I actually had to adjust mine up. And I think it was four millimeters thick, and I'll put the real measurement right here, which this will work for a glass bed or a regular Ender 3 bed that you get with. I think it looks like a piece of sandpaper, but it'll work either way. So that's what it looks like. It's just barely touching the bed. And this is the piece right here that you take the two screws out and you can adjust it up and down. There's a little clicker switch right here and that's where it knows that it's home. So that's what we're looking for if we need to adjust it if you have a glass bed. If you do not have a glass bed and you just have the standard Ender 3 bed, do not worry about this and do not touch this. All right, so from here, you wanna make sure that your tip is just like touching the bed. It's not really on the bed. And what you wanna do is gently move it and you can move the bed now, this is safe to move, and you can see, we wanna adjust it to see where, if it's gonna hit, if it's gonna start scratching. If it is, you move these knobs right here, left or right, to move it up or down. What we wanna make sure, we're not gonna scratch the bed. If we go too far and you feel like it's gonna be scratching the bed, that's what we're worried about. So basically, you're just making sure that you got these moved down enough so that way it's not gonna be hurting the bed. So once you have the bed where you know the nose isn't gonna be scratching along the glass surface. So I inserted the SD card, we're gonna turn it on now, and now we're gonna load the file. We're gonna go to print TF, and we're gonna go down to bed leveling, and that would be what's on your card. And we're gonna let that go through its process. It's gonna heat up the bed first to 45, and then it's gonna heat up the nozzle, I think to 180 or 200, it's around that. All right, so the file's about to start. It's gonna home itself first, and then it's gonna go to the first point of this file, and this is why I like using this file. All right, 
So everything's heated up now. I'm gonna try to adjust this. We're going left to make it tighter. I don't wanna make it too tight. I wanna make it tight enough. And you do gotta compensate for some of the filament falling out. All right, so once we figure out that that's pretty good, we're gonna hit the button and it'll move to the next point. And we'll move this, and I can tell right off the bat that this is very tough to move. You can see it's really hard to move this. We'll loosen it up just a little bit, a little bit more. That's pretty good. I like that. It's not too tight, not too loose. And now it's going to go to the next point, which is going to be over here. And that one's kind of really loose, so let's try and tighten that. A little bit more. That's a little too tight. It's just one of those things that you're gonna have to get a feel for it. You'll see how it moves and what works for you. But it's gonna go to the next point once I hit that button again. And that one, I don't think we need to adjust. I like the way that feels. We'll go to the next one. Just try to pre-plan where your piece of paper is gonna be. That one, I think I want a little tighter. Yeah, that's not bad. Now I'll go to the next one. It's gonna go to the back again. Okay. I'll do a little scooch thing. It's a little tight. Let's, let's just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Now I'll go to this one. Could use that one to be a little tighter. Yeah, about there. I still like that one, so we're gonna leave it. Now when I hit the button for the last time, it's gonna start the printing process. And why it's printing, we can actually adjust the knobs and make it work better if it's not laying out flat enough or if it's going too thick or too little, we can adjust it. So here it goes. And what I like to do is get to eye level with it and take a look at how well it's printing. And you just put your finger over it and you can kind of feel if it's sticking, which is good. This side feels a little raised, but we'll go, we'll let it go, we'll let it do its process. I'll just rub our finger across it, make sure it's sticking. And now we're gonna get up to the part where it's gonna draw circles in the middle and fill them in. And this is where you get to really see if it's sticking if it's gonna be a good first layer. I'm trying to get in close so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's not too flat, not too thick. It's sticking nicely, it's not smearing it too much. I'm trying to get in there and see what I'm talking about. So that's kind of what you want, is a decent layer. It's not, if it's going in too much, you'll see it smearing or it won't come out at all. Now it's gonna do the middle one. We can kind of get an idea where it's not too thick, it's not too thin. That's what you want it to look like. And when it's done, you could just feel it and you could see that it's nice and flat. It's not really raised up. It's not it's raised up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now it's going for the other corner. Let's see how that one looks. finished. Why it was doing these circles, you could adjust this up and down. I didn't need to. I have the feel for it now. I kind of get it. But what we're going to do is inspect these and see how they look. So it looks like each corner looks pretty good. And you can feel it. This one, yeah, that feels pretty good too. So I would say that's a pretty damn good leveled bed. And that's what you should see. Now if you see stringing or if you see incomplete circles or it turns into a blob, you know you don't have it level. So that's basically how you level the bed with this file. This is the way I like to do it. It does take a couple tries sometimes. Mine was fairly level. I went through it and I kinda know the feel of my printer now. It's just, it's gotta be, for me, it's gotta be like, just, there should be a little bit of a tug. Little bit, not much. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be 
super smooth where it's easy to get through. It has to be just enough that it's just about right there is what you want. Just a little, that's what you're looking for. In the beginning, it took me over three or four times to try and get this right, and you can run the files many times you want. The whole process from start to finish takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Not that big of a deal, it's nice, you go in it. I just like this file because it goes to each point, lets you test it, and then you're done. Usually, you have a perfect level bed. Now, when should you level the bed? Any time that you see that your print's either messing up or that you see that it's not sticking. Or in my case, I moved it because I put my big screen TV up there. So that way when I'm playing Oculus Quest, you can actually beam it to the TV and show your friends. But those are the times that you wanna look at it and see if it's leveled. And it's good practice. I used to only do this once a month and it, that's why I was having problems with prints. You wanna do it anytime you see or you think something got out of whack, it's time to level the bed. So, you know, the more you do it, the better off you are. If you're doing a large print, that's gonna take several hours, you know, almost a day worth of printing. What's 15 minutes just to level your bed, make sure it's perfect. I mean, that's my point of view on it. I really commend the person that made this file. I'll put his name right here. Here. Awesome job. I love in the G-code he had stopping points where you could level it. I think it's really good and I think it'll help a lot of people and I hope it'll help you level your bed. Quite a learning experience for me. That's why I'm doing this video. I wanted to make it nice and easy for people to figure out how to level their Ender 3 bed. I have other videos that you guys can check out up here on figuring out the temperature setting for the filament or what it was like to actually get the Ender 3 if you don't have an Ender 3. You can see that video right here. That's it for me guys. If this helped you in anyway please like or subscribe because it'll help me out tremendously and ring that bell if you want to see more of my videos and be notified and remember you could do anything if you put your mind to it later guys I think the worst part about this especially on a glass bed is trying to take it off afterwards which it's not a big deal it's just look seriously you're still here you haven't clicked on all these videos that I made or better yet like button or even better subscribe button just put, putting it out there